when you explore an abandoned property, it's quite easy to forget that it was once lived in. The family, the memories, the emotions, the possessions, all scattered in front of you. A 10,000 piece jigsaw that makes up somebody's life. More often than not, it's impossible to put that jigsaw back together. But on this explore, we found pieces that fit and it really brought us back down to earth. We've had to partially blur a couple of photos within this video for good reason and out of respect, but viewer discretion may still be advised. Hi, Hi guys. guys, how are you doing? So today brings us to North Lincolnshire on this bloody cold winter's evening and we've come to actually look round an old abandoned farmhouse. Now we don't really know too much about it, massive shout out to Bid Reality for uh, helping us out and a little tip off for this one. Um, the only thing we kind of know about it is it possibly was owned uh, by a old World War II veteran so maybe we'll find some cool stuff inside, yeah. maybe we won't, yeah. who knows? Either way, let's get in there and check it out. Here we are then guys, you ready to go in? Ready. God look at this place, it's absolutely creepy as hell. It's really spooky. Really it's spooky dark place. As well. well we're gonna try and get here a little bit earlier just to make sure we can get a good look at the place first, but look at this. How creepy is this as well by the way? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Yeah, that is a little spooky. Right, should we head on in and see what's going on? <laughs> nice easy access. Oh, this place is absolutely ransacked. Oh my goodness. Well, I'll tell you what, Lee. Yeah. Couple of things are clear about this house. One, it's been absolutely ransacked. Oh, wow. Two, whoever lived here was a hoarder. <laughs> Because this isn't just stuff that has come from off the streets. This is stuff that has been gone through. Look at all this. What an absolute mess. It's a tiny old place, isn't it? I'll go in there in a second. I'm just going to go down here first, just to check out what's down here. Get a little bit of an idea of the layout and then... Oh, bless. Oh, family photos. Oh, I absolutely love coming to old residential homes because you just do not know what memories you're going to find. These are obviously all people's possessions, especially if someone was elderly as well. You know that they're going to have stuff dating back an awful long time. And this house looks like it's been abandoned for decades. Oh. So this looks like it's a little storage room. Not a great deal to see in here. I mean, I don't know what I'm stepping on. The things that you could find under this ground. So there's the stairs going up there. And they're creepy enough. Look, the roof coming in. Oh, God. Okay, let's go through here. This looks like the kitchen. <sighs> wow. I mean, you just cannot move for stuff. Look at it. Oh, is that the doorway for today? Hello, yeah, well, what are you doing in there? I don't think you're going to get through though. No, I don't think I'm going to get through either. It's so, okay, I can come back round. Just have a little quick look round, see what I can find. Oh, Father's Day. I wonder if we've got any names. Roger. Lots of love, Zoe and Daz. Ah, oh, that's nice. It's always nice to know when you see a place like this, Lee, that people have thought about. So when you find things like Father's Day cards. Yeah. And this guy obviously was quite old by the looks of stuff and he's been hoarding stuff but it's nice that he wasn't forgotten about really nice that's a really old cooker stove though look at that oh, what is that at the back it's like a really old school is it a cast iron oven you can see the chimney going up there absolutely rotten oh, I don't know if I can get through here or not let's have a try oh, wow Jesus Christ, look at the state of that. Where do you start? I can try and get back over without falling too much. 
I'll try and find some more memories of these people. Okay, so we've got a newspaper. We've got newspapers everywhere. What uh, dates have we got in the newspaper? Might give us an idea of how long it's been here for. Uh, 2011. That one. This is one cluttered place. Just looking on the floor as I'm walking just to see if there's anything. You what, Lee? Oh my god, just a second. What have you found? Do I want to see this? Oh my goodness, is that what I think it is? Is that actually what I think it is? Oh <gasps> no. Oh my god. That is, that's Who is this? That's literally. Who is it? Coffin. That is her in her deathbed, right? In a coffin. Oh my god. Oh, that has given me. And just as a massive gust of wind has come through that window. But why is the one with the. <sighs> one's eyes open one's closed i don't know i'm <laughs> not feeling very easy about this right now <gasps> i have never seen something like this do you know what's freaky that was her last ever photos well you'd hope so well you would hope <laughs> but like did they used to do things like that well they like, did i know i know back in sort of victorian times people used to have family portraits next to the this dead is, next to their this. loved ones Wow. Look at this place. Oh also my god. Also, found something else that's really funny. Look at this. I think so, I need something funny after looking at that. Oh, that is just freaky. Right, so, um, 1983 newspaper. Oh, 1983? Yeah. Beware of the sexual healers. Oh. Sex therapist Fleur Jensen offers patients a range of special treatments, but they are no different from the sordid services on offer <laughs> in seedy backstreet massage parlours. Sounds like someone I know. <laughs> Hi. You get that feeling, I want a sexual healing. I'm sorry, I don't know what to make of these. That's, that has freaked me out. Oh God, has anyone actually ever seen something like that before? I've never seen anything like that before. So old furniture left behind, I've got an old chair there. Look at the condition of this place. Just look at the mould and the rot. All those books, look at the collection of books over there. Yeah, wow, a lot. So That's this crazy. was obviously a chap in his older years of life, right? Look because these photos, these Polaroids look old and this lady in it looks old. So oh. was that his mum? It's what, like a sympathy card. Oh, it's like a sympathy card. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So with our deepest sympathy, our thoughts are with you, Roger, on this sad loss of your beloved mother. Oh, bless him. Ma Mrs. Will Mrs. Willie? Wiley? Wiley. Yeah, peace. Oh, Wil no, Mrs. Wilkes. Oh, Wilkes. Mrs. Wilkes. That's it, yeah. Oh, bless. Oh, you know what? It's definitely. That's obviously Roger's mum that, then. That must be. Yeah, that must be. Because in the kitchen, Wilkes. I've just found a Father's Day card. Oh, okay. Addressed to Roger from his kids, so. Oh, oh that poor guy. Oh, honestly. I can just imagine this, this guy in his later years of life just getting by and having to deal with the loss of his mum. Oh, dear. Just what a creepy room. The fireplace over there, not that we can really see much. Let's go and see what else we can find. Oh, I need to take my mind off that. What we got through here? Some more furniture. So this looks a little bit like a workshop to me. Not a lot of, yeah, it's like a stone floor and there's just tools and ladders and all kinds of stuff here. So this looks like an old workshop or big storage room. I wonder if I can get through anywhere to have a half decent look. There's old doors and stuff here. Well, I say old doors. These doors that I'm walking over now look like the most recent things in this house, but they're obviously just never put on. Well, I'll tell you what, this is a free job room. It's the back shed and there's some traps there, look. Look at those traps, maybe for rabbits and things like that. Oh, God, these old chains and stuff. And a really rusty saw. God. I'll tell you what, coming to properties like this, you just do not know what you're going to find. And that in there is an absolute giveaway to that. 
if anyone is watching that does urban exploring themselves, let us know the freakiest or creepiest thing that you've found while exploring a house. Because that is just weird. Yes, she is. How does that make you feel, seriously? Like, I feel like if I look into the dark, I'm going to see that, that face. Yeah. Ugh. That is a face that you're not going to forget for a while. I've never seen a dead person. Ever. Never, ever, ever. I've been to very few funerals. I've, when my great grandma passed, I had the chance to go and see her at the care home. I'm going to go upstairs. Um, but personally, I'd known her for that many years because it was only recent years that it happened. It wasn't the last thing that I wanted to remember her by, if that makes any sense. But I can see why people do it. It's that final goodbye. Oh my god, where do you start up here? And just look how low that window is. This is a really, really creepy house. Oh my god, just look at this landing. So we've got some really old sewing machines here, old tools. I'm just wondering whereabouts to make a start. Sure, I just heard something up here. Hello? Anyone up here? No. I thought I heard someone in that other room as I was coming in, but I think I'm making it up. That picture's just thrown me, honestly. Okay, this is interesting. C. Wilkes. So I wonder if this is the lady's box who we've just seen on those photographs because we know the chap's name who lived here was Roger. And look at this, all photos. Wow. God, I wonder. I wonder. I'm really not a big fan of coming and looking through people's drawers and things like that, but in a place like this, you just do not know what you're gonna find. And it is just cluttered. This, again, this is all possession. So I'm assuming it's maybe a, a joint between the chap that lived here, Roger, and his mum. Maybe he took on her possessions after she passed away and just stored it all up here. Because this is crazy. Oh, does anyone remember these? Wow, a floppy disk. God. And that is why IT technicians are so good at having sex. Because even they can insert a floppy. Oi, oi. I am here for the next half hour. <laughs> and they don't come much better than that. So I'm just stepping on things. You just don't know what you're actually stepping on. That's the problem. What is that? What is that? Don't know if you can read this, guys, but this says, if it's gonna focus, mother's nail and hair. Okay, this place just gets weirder and weirder and weirder. Not only have we seen the photos of this poor lady in her bed, it's in there, there's no hair, but there, not being funny, there is a nail. Oh my God. I'm just gonna put that back. That has really just about oh, given me as many chills as I think I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get out of this room. I'm gonna tell Lou when I go downstairs what I found. old TV here and uh, yeah typical of an old farmhouse some shotgun shells <sighs> I don't know what to make I don't know what to make of it there is no way in hell I'm getting over there oh this place is freaky obviously all the windows are well and truly crashed and smashed in and it's quite a breezy night tonight and I'm just pan in the room and I can just see bits of paper fluttering about, bags rustling and... <sighs> <laughs> it 
yeah just look at this place it looks like the roof's about to cave in to be honest with you and it, it is over there it's just awful that's why I'm trying not to disturb too much um, as well you can have asbestos as well so I don't want to be climbing over too much irritating everything I'm just doing my best to make my way through this little tight space I can't even fit down here look I'm sideways that is my death down there ah, this is horrible what is this? this is an old umbrella that looks quite new I wonder if someone's been in things about this place is well off the beaten track well off the beaten track old exercise equipment it's just you cannot move in this place for stuff I'm hoping Lee's alright she's downstairs ah oh, this is interesting this is quite cool it's like a windmill it's like a windmill oh, I bet that went on here let's try and put that on here guys uh, which way round let's try and put it on here I think it's not going to fit, it looks like it's broke, but it looks like, how cool is that? That is amazing. I think it's a light, some kind of old lamp, because you've got the, the wire in there. That would have been beautiful to see. Wow, I love that. Oh, it's just creepy teddy on the floor there as well, and look at this creepy old window in the corner. That is exactly what that is. Oh, honestly, some more books and stuff in there. It is so, so cold in here. It is so, so cold. I'm just going to check Lee's all right. Lee, yeah. you okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you okay? Oh, have I found something up here? I'll tell you when I come down. And this is, looks like it's actually the final room in the house. So where's the toilet? Look how low that window is down there. I'll see you in a minute, love. It's just stuff everywhere. This place has actually got me a little bit emotional, you know, just after we've only been in here a few minutes and just some of the things that we've found. I can't even open these drawers, they're kind of really lodged shut. I just wish there was more individual pieces that I could show you but everything is just clumped together and buried and that window is creepy, it's so low, who on earth would live in this room, like a hobbit's room, <sighs> just look at this, okay, I'm going to be very careful, it seems so edgy across here, it's wobbling, it's shaking, does not feel safe. And the gap is so narrow. I've not seen any kind of memorabilia from what would have sort of been the war time. It's got bits of roof falling on the head. Okay, let's go downstairs and see where Lee is. I just want to go and tell her about what I found. Oh my god. What a place. You okay? Okay. In a bedroom upstairs. Yeah. I found. Mrs. Wilkes's nail. Nail? As in a fingernail. Oh my god. There was a little trinket box saying mother's hair and nail. Hair's not in there, but the nail is in there. Oh my god. And yeah. So, it's, so, so that's the woman that's in that picture? That's the woman that's in the picture. That's her nails upstairs. That's her nail upstairs. Her pictures are in there of her in a coffin. Oh my god. And there's a sympathy card or a little flower sympathy card in here. It's creepy, but it's also really sad as well, isn't it? You know what? I said up there, when I was in that last room, I said, this place has actually got me quite emotional. Yeah. It's not often we come into a property and find memories like that. Yeah. The one thing that we do that I feel that a lot of people don't quite do is when we're going through things, when rummaging, we're really taking into account whose it could have been, the how they could have lived, lived. Yeah, and the memories that they had, the family that they had. At the end of the day, we're in a family home. Yeah. 
This has got memories. Yeah, obviously, like Mrs. Wilkes was Mrs. it. Mrs. Wilkes, yeah. Obviously, she was really loved, weren't she? Absolutely. And you know what this is a tale of? It's a tale of an old man at the end of his life that misses his mum, lost yeah. his mum, probably late in his life lost his mum, and all of a sudden the house becomes cluttered, it yeah. becomes hoarded because all this stuff is going to be a mixture between his stuff and he's probably taking his mum's stuff in here. Yeah. There's been no place for it and he's just, it seems to me like he's just struggled towards the end of his life. Yeah, it does, did you say you found a Father's Day card? Yeah. So obviously he must have kids. It's just sad. Yeah. And it, it, it's really like, I don't know, makes you think about your own life and your own family doesn't it? Yeah. You know, my like, family's, older members of my family are now sort of getting older a lot yeah. older to the point where you do start thinking about life without them and yeah really this bad. this just kind of brings it home a little bit really we're not just walking through piles of rubbish and crap all over the floor we're walking through someone's life possessions. and their possessions loved possessions ah and... oh dear i don't know right should we go and check out the garden try and cheer ourselves up a little bit <laughs> yeah why is there it's a rare roller coaster out there <laughs> Just come back outside guys i tell you what the sun has disappeared that light has just drained from the day since we've been in there so we're going through the garden now and it's like a jungle surely this place is going to be okay so this is the side of the house here so obviously there's been developments to this house over time because you've got a window, a window that was once there, there now bricked up God, it's like a jungle honestly what have we got through here? It just looks like an outdoor shed maybe. Look at the TV. That's an old one. If this is a farmhouse, it's going to have a lot of little cubby holes out here, isn't it? A lot of storage and such like. Oh, look at this. Wow. It's an old rusty metal bike. Bit of WD-40 on that. Straight back on. The pheasants. Sorry if it's a bit windy out here, guys. I know it looks enclosed, but very much in the open here. Look how spooky this is. This is the back of the house. You can barely see what's there, but got some windows. A wall. Oh. What a creepy, creepy place. We were hoping to get here in the daytime so we can get a really good look, but actually, this. As it's getting darker, makes it seem Adds a bit more to the atmosphere. A little bit more to the atmosphere, exactly, exactly. <sighs> Got a greenhouse. I never saw this door. I wonder if that's in the kitchen, maybe. It is, that's the kitchen there, so that came straight out to this old garden room. Look at it. That's really cool. <sighs> Seems to go on for miles. No way! Look what I've seen! Oh my God. What? No way! Look at this! It's an old classic! Okay, let's see what it is. There's no badges apart from... Ah, what does that say? Deluxe C. Anyone know what that is? Oh, it's underneath, inside the bonnet, uh, the boot, sorry. Wow! Should we give it a test drive? I know, right? Wow. Tell you what, I bet it's still better than my car. <laughs> That's not hard though. No, it's not hard at all. <laughs> Just look at this, guys. Oh, wow. What an awesome little find. No oh, way. Car, it? Oh. it really is. Oh. That is sick. How far it's in the mud. Yeah, I know. Well. That's how long it's been here for. It's just been completely taken back, hasn't it? That. I wonder what it is, what colour it is. I don't know, if you get round to the bonnet you'd be able to see, but obviously anyone watching that's a car enthusiast, probably a classic car enthusiast guys, then do let us know. It seems to say Deluxe C on the back of it. We're not going through the woods here, this is actually someone's back garden. This is crazy. And look at this. So it's just a massive outdoor corrugated shed store. Whatever you want to call it. 
it's collapsed either way look at this jungle queen coming through <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it just keeps going back and back and back and back and back all down here I mean we're not getting inside that There's another bike inside there though, I can just see another bike I'm not getting a tetanus shot for going in there but there's the bike wow. oh, Two bikes actually Can you still get round the back? Is still more? What is in there? Uh, go have a look. What's a bath? <laughs> it is a bath, isn't it? It's like one of those old baths you used to put by the open fire. I can see an engine in there, Lee. Go around the other side, what's in there? I can see an engine. Oh, it's a motorbike. Is it a motorbike? It's a motorbike. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh my, my god. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lee is scared of birds. If that's not worth a subscribe, I don't know what is. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness, let me try and get a shot of the whole thing. So there's the front wheel. Look at that. I mean, that is decades old, right? Wow. That has been there for some time. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I wonder why it's been put in like the... It's kind of like been covered up, hasn't it? It has, yeah. It's, it looks like it was maybe an old bike shed or something that's crumbled down. It's obviously been made for... No, I, th I think someone must have done it because obviously there's the bath there as well. Yeah, maybe like someone's covered it up, trying to keep it. it out of... Eye shot, stop maybe. It, trying to stop it getting rusty. <laughs> <laughs> this one, honestly. <laughs> Try living with her. That's so cool. Isn't it? Yeah, I, I love, obviously, like the house and stuff it's just really cool to see people's like memories and yeah. you know what sort of old stuff you can find but this is like, like finding a car finding a car finding a bike a really old car and a motorbike i'll tell you like, what when there, i said let's get outside to cheer us up a little bit like <laughs> what is the feeling like out here compared to in that house oh, so doesn't compare does it no it's just <laughs> unreal <laughs> So I think that's just about that guys, we've pretty much lost all the light now that we had when we came here but what a creepy, strange explore that one was. Was you expecting that when we no, came here? No, I was just going to say you just never know what you're actually going to find and we've managed to like piece together a bit of a A bit of a story, story. A, bit of a, um, a bit of a tragic story really if yeah, anything. But from the residents but, but then like I think coming out here it's just so cool like I mean like we were saying that Roger was, must have been a bit like down and in the door end of his life like didn't then, quite know but then when you look at like finding like that car and the motorbike and stuff it's like well you might have had a really good life absolutely <laughs> definitely definitely there's a lot of hoarding here but it's a lot of hoarding from memories and i think that's yeah. the main part you know been a bit of an emotional roller coaster really isn't it yeah it's just ups and downs them photos will probably live with me forever now <laughs> they are no. creepy so yeah if you've enjoyed this one guys please give the videos a thumbs up as always drop us a comment we'll always reply to all comments as long as they're nice so yeah do drop us a comment and say hi and how you found this one if you've been watching a few of our videos now and you haven't subscribed yet then please consider doing that or if you're new to the channel please do subscribe and uh, yeah continue on the ventures that we're we're going on until the next one take care